Hey, what's going on guys? This is ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today we're going to be covering ScumVM using RetroArch. Now this is pretty simple to do. Last week I did a video on using the standalone ScumVM emulator, but I know a lot of people want to use RetroArch for as many emulators as they can, and I really don't blame them. RetroArch is amazing. So this is pretty straightforward. The first thing we're going to need to do is head over to the LaunchBox forum. All links will be in the description. We want to download Epic Fails ScumVM Launcher. Now we also use this same application with the standalone version of ScumVM, but we'll still need it for RetroArch. We're going to download it right here. Agree. The next thing we're going to need are some ScumVM games. Now I have mine on my desktop in a folder called ScumVM. They're all extracted. So they might look a little something like this or like this. These are relatively hard to import without Epic Fails little application here, and he did an amazing job with it. it. Makes life so much easier. Finally, I have created a text document. You can download it from the description below. Associated platform, ScumVM. Default command line parameter. The core in RetroArch that we're gonna be using is ScumVM Libretro. You can copy and paste it. I'll show you exactly where we need to do that. Link is in the description to download this. All right, so let's go ahead and get started here. Got my ScumVM games. I have Epic Fails ScumVM Launcher. I'm gonna place it right in with my games. Just makes it easier for me. Now we need to transfer all of our ScumVM games and Epic Fails Launcher to our LaunchBox directory under games. We're gonna go to games and just place this right in here. All right, so now we've transferred our games to our LaunchBox directory. We're gonna back up once because we need to start ScumVM. Luckily, LaunchBox comes preloaded with ScumVM. We're just gonna open it up here. It's in your LaunchBox directory, scumvm.exe. So we do need to load our games into ScumVM because it needs to create an INI file for us. We're gonna scan that INI file with Epic Fail ScumVM Launcher and create new extensions inside of each game folder that we can easily import into LaunchBox and launch with RetroArch. You can click Add Game for a single game, or if you hold Shift on your keyboard, we can mass add. Yes. I need to go to my LaunchBox games directory, so I'm gonna go up, find games, find ScumVM. Now it's automatically going to import only the ScumVM games here. I have six in total. Choose OK. They're now imported. ScumVM has automatically created an INI file for us. We're going to click Quit. We're going to back up to our games directory one more time. Find ScumVM. And we want to start the Epic Fails ScumVM launcher. This is really easy to use. Since we're using RetroArch, we don't need to specify the ScumVM path. All we need to do is go to Tools, load scumvm.ini. It should be under App Data Roaming ScumVM. It will automatically find the directory for us. We'll double click on our INI file. It's going to load up the games that we previously loaded into ScumVM. There are a few other options in here. Languages, hide duplicates. You might want to experiment with this a little bit. We're almost done here. All we need to do is go to Experimental, Prepare Collection for RetroArch, Full List. Now you can use the EMU Movies version, but I find that the full list just scrapes a little better with LaunchBox, so we're going to be using the full list. We're going to click on this. This adds the .epicfail file to your game folders. Are you sure you want to continue? The .epic fail files are the files we're going to be importing into LaunchBox. It's going to create one in each of our game directories. So we're going to go yes. We can close Epic Fail ScumVM Launcher. If we take a look in one of our ScumVM games, we now have a new extension or a new file in here, .epic fail. This is what we're going to be importing into LaunchBox. We're ready. To get our emulator set up and import our games, we're going to open up LaunchBox. From the top, we'll go to Tools, Manage Emulators, RetroArch. 
Now, if you don't have RetroArch set up, I have done a tutorial on it. It's fairly easy to do. Go ahead, check that video out. Links in the description. Then come back here and we can get ScumVM set up for you. Associated platforms. All the way down at the bottom, we're going to create under associated platform, ScumVM. Default command line parameter, we want the ScumVM underscore libretro core. I created this text document. You can easily copy and paste into here. Make sure it's checked. We're going to click OK and close. All we need to do now is import our ScumVM games, tools, import, ROM files. This is the ROM import wizard. Go ahead and read through everything on screen so you understand it before you click next. Select the files to import. We want to add files. We're going to locate our ScumVM directory with all of our games. And at the top here, in the search bar, we want to type in .epicfail. It's going to automatically find all the .epicfail files that were created by EpicFail ScumVM Launcher. These are what we're going to be importing. Go ahead and click on one of them. Just a single click. Control A. It's going to highlight all of them in here. Open. Next. Platform for imported games. Drop down. Find ScumVM. Next. Choose an emulator. RetroArch should already be chosen. If it's not, just use the drop down menu. Next. Would you like to move or copy the files? I've already placed all of mine in the LaunchBox directory, so I'm going to use the files in their current location. Would you like to download metadata for your games? I'll leave both of these checked. Search for game information from the LaunchBox Games database and search for and download metadata from Wikipedia. So I leave both checked. Click Next. Would you like to download images for your games? Of course we would. That's one of the big reasons we're using LaunchBox. Next. If this is your first time importing anything in the LaunchBox, you might be prompted to sign into EMU Movies. Now it's free to use, but they do have a donation option and I totally recommend it. At least go over there, create an account, and sign in here. It's definitely worth it. Next. Would you like to specify any custom options? Not for ScumVM. Next. We're now ready to import. Here's the name of the game, the file location, and the extension, the .epic fail files that Epic Fail ScumVM Launcher created. I want to give him another big shout out here because he did an amazing job with this application. I'm in love with it. I love ScumVM games myself, and without this, it would have been a big headache to import these games. So thank you. Finish. We'll get a progress bar at the bottom. Might take a little while depending on how many you're importing. I have six here and they were imported successfully. Click OK. Over in the left hand column, we should now have a ScumVM option. All of them look like they scraped correctly. Now, ScumVM games were really intended to use a mouse and a keyboard, but since we're using RetroArch, of course we can use a controller. And it's already pre-configured. I'm using an Xbox One S controller here, and it works fine. I'm going to start Day of the Tentacle. It's going to load up RetroArch for us. I'll press Start on my controller. Okay, we'll spread Start it. again. Your left analog stick will be your cursor. A is going to be select. So if we I'm want to go open this door, this motel until walk I over find here. Those tentacles. Now, even with RetroArch, I still prefer using my mouse hmm, and keyboard. That's just the way they were intended to be used. Hmm, there's, something hmm, there's something funny about that. There are a few other options with RetroArch. There's not many, though. If you followed my tutorial on setting up RetroArch, all you're going to have to do is press in on your left and right analog stick, L3 and R3. It's going to open RetroArch quick menu for us. Scroll down, we can save the game. We can load the game. Under options, there's nothing here yet. No core options are available for ScumVM in RetroArch as of making this video. You can change your controls, but right out of the box, 
They work great with a PS4 controller, PS3, or an Xbox controller, Xbox One, or Xbox 360. You can view all the controls here also. There's some shaders. Now I don't mess with them with Scum VM. You can add some if you'd like to. We're just gonna resume the game. And that's pretty much it. Neat. You can exit the game by pressing escape on the keyboard. That'll bring us back in the launch box. Or if you have the premium version of launch box and big box, you can use controller automation and press the corresponding hotkeys you set up. And that's it. It's really that simple to get Scum VM up and running in RetroArch with LaunchBox. Big shout out to Epic Fail for creating that application. He's made everything super easy. We really appreciate you guys watching. If you want to use the standalone version of Scum VM, like I prefer, you can follow my other tutorial. But if you're wanting to use RetroArch, here it is. Works great. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, subscribe to the channel for more great content. And like always, thanks for watching.